mask so welcome we to like <laughs> this video <laughs> and stuff we're gonna like show you how to put on a hazmat suit and what you're gonna need so there is one of the other order members masking up his mask because he's a man it's a high t alpha male like everyone in the order we all have high t and are alarmists so you're gonna need one gas mask bag gas mask filter under gloves over gloves hazmat suit over boots which gonna go here and one of theirs are cool as well so like now I'm gonna put on the hazmat suit so uh, do this is filament in that so like you need to touch these buttons let's see is it still is it still filament yeah okay cool so first things first <laughs> We're going to start with the chisels. And they're going to go on, they have these things, and then they go on like, like chisels. So like, if your dumbass doesn't know how to put them on, then um, you're going to die because you're clearly going to die if you're really stupid. So like, it's <laughs> kind of a pain in the ass to put on, but you know. Do -do 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 -do. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to tuck everything I'll do like this. I'm going to get this here, there's like a velcro bit there, and this folds in like that, and then it folds as tight as it'll go, and put the skin so it's just going to there. And then you're going to grab these like suspender looking things. The other one. I'll put two. They're not together. As you can see, it's together. Right. So then I'm just gonna just gonna flog these through here. Like this I'm gonna shake that booty. Just kidding, I'm not of um, African descent. So I'm gonna like to shake my booty. Right, then you just tie it like this. Tie it like a shoelace, so tie it however you want, don't really care, that's the way I do it. But the way I do it is right, because I'm amazing and infallible, so. <laughs> then we're going to move on to the boots. <laughs> right, actually, I'm going to pull the pure trousers down a little bit, I believe. You put these on next. Right? So these are over boots, or over shoes. I'm going to be a fag about it. So. These just kind of, these are a real pain in the ass to put on sometimes. Right, like a real, real pain in the ass. Come on, don't move up your feet. Stupid rubber shoes, come on. Yeah, these are extremely annoying. So the fact I've got the biggest size, they're still a pain to put on. So I feel no shame in starting again. But you can kind of roll this up if you want. Because this goes down over the top so it doesn't actually matter. Right. This open like this. Try to open them up, but these are quite new so they're going to be more annoying. These are really, really, really annoying to put on. So you're just kind of gonna have to kind of trial and error yeah, like this. This isn't a quick process, this is why you should probably be. Yeah, because you don't actually have a feet, it doesn't matter which one they are. Right. So. There you go. That's that one there, on, on like a <laughs> scone or something. Right, this is the important bit. You're then gonna, or we're gonna just cut for a second. No, dude, don't. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna cut in a minute. Well, I'm gonna put the other one on because you don't need to see that. I was demonstrating one and then we'll show the next part. So, awesome. So here we are back after like, it was only like five minutes, but or less than five minutes, but it's just, I'm not going to subject you guys to watching me fiddle around with bloody rubber shoes, right, that's not fun, that's called boring kind of weird ASMR stuff for weird fetish people. So you're just going to roll the boot down a little bit like this, when it's on your actual foot, already. 
I'm going to stuff that down more. Then you're going to get this trouser and you're going to make it tight. Yes, yes. Now we're going to tighten this way. Not be dumb with it. So this one, do do do. And this will probably protect you against Corona Chan. And lots of other things too. I'm just gonna get this here, and you're gonna wazam it over your leg, thusly, like so, and then fold it over or whatever. Do what you want, do any kind of weird stuff, don't really care. Just clips at the side here. I'm gonna clip clippy o it up -o. And this final one here. There we go. And that's one. Now we're gonna do two. And the rubber will create a, a seal. Yes. Like, you know, one of those things that with flippers and lives in the sea. Like Captain Flippers on your boots, right? Then, it's kind of fiddly. Especially when all your equipment is new. Or, it's new, isn't it? It's new out of packets, but it's actually old, isn't it? Like, these boots are 15 years old. They're brand new. Like in a seal in a packet and all that. Because one of these things, like a hazmat suit is something you don't know you need it, right up until you need it. Like you go, I don't need a hazmat suit. The world is perfect and good and then like a virus is going to kill us all. So it's better to be a Chad alarmist than a virgin the virus. So that's your lower half of your hazmat prepared body. Then we've got the hazmat suit upper. So, do 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 do. That's the back. Well, this is the back. This is kind of annoying to put on as well. So, let's see. Blow your sleeves down beforehand because the charcoal inside the suit's kind of like it's your skin and it's not very nice. Hey, what time is it? Six forty-five. Nice. Okay. Right. So now I'm just gonna grab. The end of my body hoodie and just bring it to the heel. That'll be fine. Right, so this is checking in the mirror right now. If you've got a body that can help you with putting the suit on. So now you get these bits at the side, you tighten it up. Lastly, and that's your upper layer on. Then you don your under gloves. Um, you can get big long ones, I can't to hear it. I don't bother with them, I had these lying around. I just get certain quite a stupid gloves that do the exact same thing. And then you're going to roll. And then we're just doing. Yeah. Wrap this around as tight as it'll go. Same. There's there. There we go. But some people tuck the gloves under here. So do that. This step is much more of a pain in the backside, but 
it creates a far superior seal, shall we say an airy seal. And I put the wrong glove on my hand like a dumbass. Don't be like me, don't be a dumbass. There we go, so then that just tuck it in there, like come up close to it. So I'm gonna just tuck it in there like that. And then this is gonna go around there. Justly like so. We got that glove all in there. And pull it. That creates a seal in there. Like a seal, like it lives in the sea. So it's obviously it creates a zehun around there. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So repeat the process lastly. It's more, it becomes more of a pain at this stage because doing it with a glove on is just the most annoying thing in the whole bloody world. It's just a pain, it takes a while, right? But you'll get it eventually. And we're almost there. If you can get to get it in a circular kind of way to get it in, that also works. Like that. You can do it yourself, or you can get a buddy to help you out. If you're in like any kind of CRBN environment, you just need to do it yourself. If not, just get your pal who's not wearing gloves to help you. And then, well, whoever's the last guy is humped. So there we go, like that. Next set you need, your respirator. This is an Avon model S10. I'm gonna take that off, right? But, um, it takes 40 millimeter, NATO NBC filters. This one here is made by a company called Draeger in Deutschland. You just go over there. You can zoom in on it. It's rated for all these things. That's basically just all the chemicals. That's an industrial use filter, but it's the same thing. This one here is a military filter. Suppose FP5. It takes against all sorts of things. He's got one too. Because it's standard issue amongst all the members. So basically you store your mask like this, so in this bag, which we come to next, the next part, right? This just stores in there. You store it like this. The idea being in an emergency, you hold it like this, or kind of like this, place it against your face, and pull back like this. Now in another video I said four seconds, forgetting when I was showing how to do this, because it was a long time ago. Nine seconds is how long it should take. But we're going to forget that step. Well, we're not going to forget it. We're just going to pause the video while I put the mask on because I don't want to show my face. So, pause the video. Yeah. Okay, now put on your mask. So, you can all just put it your face. And then it's important to have a clean shaven face. We won't seal. But to test the seal, it's going to suck to your face when you cover the filter. So. Oh yeah, so it's going in that way. Like Seal. Now we've got the next part here, which you can do in front of a mirror, or you can do it without, doesn't matter. The hood comes over, lastly. And you get your pull tab, this thing here. And you do it like this. Yeah, you can just check it in the mirror, which is what I'm doing here. Yeah, there we go, that's all good. You usually get a buddy to do it, but I've got a mirror here, so my buddy is filming. So there we go, then we just get the final piece. The bag. Your mask is stored and your spare filter is stored in here. So. 
Okay, toss me the felt then. There we go. We are equipped against coronavirus, so you can do a little dance, you can do like... Like this. Or you can be like that, kind of thing. So yeah. All good. Now remember, stay clean shaven, get yourself one of these. Okay, peace as well.